Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is going to be a Flying Friday video. Um, I'll just talk about some new parts I've got. I haven't had a... Uh, I don't think I have any footage really, nothing spectacular, nothing you haven't seen before. So I'm not going to bore you uh, with, you know, stuff just around here. I'm kind of waiting until the weather gets a little better and uh, it's been um, snowing and raining and snowing and raining and windy and miserable and we've been busy and we have, haven't been able to get out anywhere to uh, get any good quadcopter uh, shots and of course with the new rules um, that, that restricts a fair bit as well the new uh, Canadian rules um, but I wanted to talk to you this is the Hubson 501S I actually need to order some new blades for it I've only got two B blades because uh, last time I was flying it or actually I, I let my, my daughter fly it and um, it got hung up in the power lines, um, you know, not particularly her fault uh, exactly, um, but it got hung up in the power lines and smashed one of those. So uh, it's doing very well. The um, this thing has been a very good. Uh, it's very strong, actually. It's very sturdy, and uh, um, you know, it's for the for the stuff I put it through. You know, it's, it's not bad. It's not, not bad at all. I highly recommend the Hubson Five One S. I wanted to show you. So I had ordered a new battery from uh, Banggood, and it's been two months. And so uh, basically, uh, I went back to them and said, "Look, I ordered an extra battery at the same time I ordered the hubs, and where is it?" And of course, it's untracked. It's coming from directly from China, whatever. And uh, so they said they would um, send out that extra battery again. So I'm still waiting on that. Um, but the other two things that I got uh, at the same time was this, and I'm going to take this out right now. This is a little parallel cable. This is a cool parallel cable. Now this has the same size connector as, where's the camera there? Has the same, I don't know what this connector is called, but it's a little bit smaller than uh, for my uh, uh, K70C. Uh, so this is a nice little parallel one where you can plug, um, let's see, which is which? I guess, I guess you plug the, uh, the two batteries into the, uh, the double end here. And you basically uh, can put two batteries on your Hubs and 51S, and not quite double the um, flight time, uh, but instead of 20 minutes, you can maybe get like 30 minutes. And 30 minutes, you know, that that's a significant amount of flight time. Not only that, um, you know, 20 minutes, you know, when you're out and about, when you're, you know, half an hour, even 15 minutes away from the house, and you're you're getting some quadcopter shots, you know. 15 uh, minutes, 20 minutes is not a super long time when you're in a really nice location. So having an extra battery, which I'm waiting for, will be really nice to get an extra, you know, at, at that point, if they last 20 minutes, a 20 minute flight, I could get 40 minutes of footage in theory. So I want to show you that. This, I mean, this was a couple of bucks off Banggood, um, and it's just a little y, y splitter there. So you can uh, piggyback two batteries and get some longer flight times, some longer uh, uh, footage and so that should be interesting and yeah a couple bucks off man but that finally came so actually I think um, they just shipped me new stuff because I hadn't received this yet after like two months of waiting from China um, so I may have to pay them again for that the other thing I got were some banana connectors uh, charge connectors with the same with the same plug on it there you go and uh, why banana connectors well I got this from I think this was from Banggood and this is uh, your little hobby charger basically and uh, the banana connectors allow me to connect it straight into here because otherwise um, you know you plug in your little 2s battery plug into the side there there's a 2s and then I think the next is 3s and what it, yeah 2s 3s let me see can I show it to you there it is 2s 3s 4 4S, 5S, 6S, you know, cell, but basically. And uh, so you plug your the balance port in, and the balance port is usually where you charge it from. Um, but with this little hobby charger, which is really, I think this is 10 or 15 bucks off Banggood, uh, you can you can charge them through the, the thick cables, which means they will recharge fast. You can charge them at a uh, higher rate. So I charge these at 1.5 amps versus I think the charger does like 0.8 amps or something. Um, so you can you plug in your balance port, of course, so it knows the uh, voltage of the cells. Uh, but then it doesn't. It's main bulk charging through uh, the thick cables that can handle a more amperage. 
And uh, so that's why I got this these uh, banana clips so I could actually use this. Otherwise, you get a, a little pair of alligator clips. Um, but, you know, on this end here, there, it's hard to get the alligator clips on the inside to actually uh, connect. So handy to have the correct connectors. I, I, I wish they would standardize um, on connectors, but they don't. But anyways, yeah, you can get this off uh, uh, Banggood. IMAX B6 is the one I have. And uh, this is good for my hobby aircraft, and uh, my quadcopters has been good for that. Uh, sometimes you do have to buy the extra connectors, uh, but that's okay. It's only a couple of bucks from Banggood, as long as they actually ship it to you. So I'm actually expecting one of these to come, and if they're like the cables, I may end up getting two of these batteries eventually. So I'll have three in total. Hopefully I don't wreck the quadcopter before I receive my batteries so I can actually use them. Um, so I'm probably going to have to pay for the second set, which finally, you know, because stuff is finally coming after two months. I mean, stuff shipping from China should only take, uh, you know, a month. Usually it's, you know, three, four weeks, and maybe five, even six weeks, but not usually two months. Um, so that is on the way. But yeah, highly recommend this. Uh, I, I don't know how, how much amperage you can charge up to, but, you know, two or three amps or any ways you can stick into it. What does it uh, say? Oh yeah, 0.1 to 6 amps, it says. And it also has a discharge functionality um, so that you can exercise your batteries. There you go. See, So it does uh, lipos, life, LIFEs, NICADs, nickel metal hydrides, 1 to 15 cells. So there's, there's a huge range of rechargeable batteries that it will charge. So great for all your, you know, your, your toy grade hobby stuff. Um, as a, you know, it's a dirt cheap char charger, all things mm -hmm. considered. So. The other thing I do have, uh, which comes on the alligator clips, is this little, I think it's called a GSG, GST connector? No, JST connector. And um, if you'll recall, I did do the battery mod on the Hubson uh, 501S controller. And so I've got a chargeable battery now, which used to be my K7C battery. Uh, but anyways, it has... Uh, I, I cut off the connector on it and put uh, connected it to a JST because the JST is what plugs into the uh, controller, of course. So I can use this on my little hobby charger as well to charge that up. And that that little rechargeable, rechargeable battery, I think it's 27 mil, uh, 2700 milliamp hours. Uh, that lasts a number of flights. So I just want to show you a couple of things I had there. Um, I'm still not what, sure what I'm going to do about uh, camera stuff. I'm still interested in getting the Sony, uh, is it the FDR 3000, because uh, it has the optical stabilization. Now with the new government rules, you know, I can't uh, fly very far, etc. Um, it makes it a little bit trickier, uh, but I still do want to get a better camera, even just for uh, my, my regular vlog stuff. Like this is the camera I usually use, and this camera's all busted. The, you know, there's moisture in the, where's the lens? The moisture in the lens. Um, I bought this broken, actually. I've told the story of it before. It's all, I bought it like that, all cracked on the side. Uh, you know, the, the speaker's exposed. It's cracked on the, where's the top there? It's cracked on the top. Anyways. So, eventually I intend to do that, but it probably won't come. I have some other uh, things uh, that I'm looking to do. I'm still planning on getting a Nintendo Switch. I haven't talked about it that much, um, but I have some, uh, residual income from um, some web design stuff that I was doing so hoping to get that actually I'm just waiting on a couple of checks for that and then after that uh, I need to put some money away for saving um, and uh, I, I'm also thinking about uh, I'm also trying to save up money for an Airstream as well so I got I got a lot of hobbies a lot of things I enjoy doing and a lot of things I'm uh, putting money towards but anyways um, all that said and done, I do hope to eventually get uh, a really decent camera, you know, for the whole YouTube channel, uh, not just, um, you know, not just uh, for my own purposes or whatever. I, I want to improve uh, the, the quality of that camera. I can't, the problem with this is I can't lift this camera uh, with the Hudson. Well, maybe I could, but it wouldn't be worth it. I mean, there's no optical stabilization. There's nothing really special about this, um, and it's a big flat box. So flying it with the Hubson would be a miserable job, whereas the uh, Sony uh, uh, was FDR, I forget, 3000, whatever. Anyways, it's like this where, the, where the, the lens is on the end there, so it's more aerodynamic, so it's actually better. It would work better for 
what I'm interested in using it for, as well as all the other things. It will also do time lapse, which is an option I've not had. So, anyways, um, sorry that I don't have uh, flying footage. I uh, wanted to show you a couple of those accessories. Um, definitely get these, and, uh, and you know, and the fact that I might have uh, three batteries in total, which will be great for when I actually go out, because, man, you burn through batteries quick when you're just flying around having fun. Speaking of uh, hobbies and Flying Friday and general hobbies for Friday, um, I have here, let me see if I miss one. I have here what is, where is that? Just making sure I don't show my address. Anyways, what I have here, I think on this side is the, uh, the Chinese address, anyways. Uh, is uh, this is a remote control car? It happens to be. Oh, what's the name of it? Anyways, it's a really fast uh, uh, RC car uh, for my son's birthday, uh, which I got off eBay, uh, not eBay, Amazon. And uh, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rip that open now. But uh, look for that in an upcoming Flying Friday video. I should uh, rename the uh, Flying Friday videos to Hobby Friday videos. And uh, so my son's in the remote control car, so I'm thinking of um, even going to a racetrack, uh, uh, maybe Sunday. I think they're only open on Sundays or whatever, uh, where they have a racetrack after church or something. Um, so I'm gonna gonna check that out, and so you should see uh, a really fast RC car, really neat thing, uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks here. So that's uh, that's something I'm saving, and so you'll see that later. I mean, it's not my toy, anyways. I gotta wait for uh, my son's birthday for that one. So, all right, I will leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, next week I'll definitely have some footage of some sort, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.